And with his tough stand on immigration, is there concern that uh, that could cost uh, dairy farmers across the North Country their hired hands? A yep. lot of them use uh, Mexican yep. farm workers. Yep. A number workers. of them are illegals. And uh, is there concern that at a time when farmers are already struggling with, sure. with, with low milk prices that they could be hit with this as well? Yes, and we definitely have to keep an eye on that. They need, they need that labor force to keep their businesses viable. So we, we definitely need to look at that. And, and as far I, as the and I would encourage uh, encourage Mr. Trump to uh, to take to take a look at that and how that's uh, adversely going to affect our uh, our businesses. And as far as the low milk prices, anything that can be done for farmers, as far as the state in trying to help them, with so many of them really struggling, uh, their their production costs more than what they're getting sure. for the milk. Yes, uh, I've always said this. I think the pricing system needs an overhaul. Uh, uh, to help our, our New York farmers, to help our North Country farmers. That's a federal issue, but any way that I can help on the state level, you know farming is dear and near and dear to my heart. Uh, grew up and actually operated our family dairy farm mm -hmm. um, for a while. And uh, you know, we certainly need to help out the farmers any way they can because it's, it's, it's becoming again a, a crisis mode for them. And there are a, a number of small farmers that sure. are trying to compete against the really large farms yes. and you know they have 30, 40, 50, mm -hmm. 100 cows and uh, the, they're really yeah. feeling it. Yes, and, that, and, 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 and unfortunately through the years we've seen those small mid-size uh, uh, dairy farms in our region uh, sell out. They've, they've gotten out of business in the, in the and they've kind of consolidated into uh, into bigger farming operations. Uh, you know, they acquire the land, they acquire the cattle, and a bigger operation to try to make a, a go of it. And uh, you know, it's uh, kind of nostalgic for me in a way that you know, when I drive down uh, uh, my neighborhood, I, I remember seeing this farm there, that farm there, and it, it kind of breaks my heart to see that. So uh, we definitely need to uh, help the dairy farmers any way we can. The 115th for generations now has mm -hmm. been uh, a Republican seat. Yep. And uh, you're the first Democrat in a number of uh, years now to, mm -hmm. to fill the seat. What do you think being a member of the majority in the assembly is going to uh, do for the North Country? Well, I've always worked across the aisle anyway, uh, Tom. I've always worked uh, with uh, Republicans, Democrats, whatever party affiliation uh, you are. I will continue to do that. Uh, my interests uh, lie with the people of the North Country. They will always be first. The 115th district will always be first for me. Um, but there are some uh, advantages in being in the majority. Uh, you know, maybe a, 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 a not saying any of my, um, my predecessors did, did an excellent job, but uh, I will take advantage of some of those uh, advantages in being in the majority. Have you been given committee assignments Yes, yet? I have. Uh, what committees are you? Uh, I'm on economic development, agriculture, tourism, small business, and aging. I have five of them. And did you specifically seek those? Because uh, yes. especially agriculture and tourism, yes. those were committees yes. you wanted to be agriculture, on. Agriculture, tourism, economic development um, kind of tie into what, uh, what uh, we want to do here in the North Country, so, uh, and what we have here in the North Country. So yeah, I did seek them, and it was, uh, it was nice to get them.